Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and let us continue with the today's GOG pivot this week and let me tell you before, so we are gonna solve this question today uh, for our understanding purpose, right? So let us resume again now. So the question name is number following a pattern, right? So uh, do remember this word pattern. So basically we need to observe a pattern in this question. Given a pattern containing only I and D's, I for increasing and D for decreasing, devise an algorithm to print the minimum number following that pattern digits can be from 1 to 9 and digits can't repeat okay let us understand the input test cases first of all so d says for decreasing right so d is decreasing so what are the possible cases right you can say 2 to 1 or you can say 3 to 1 5 to 4 8 to 7 or you can say 94 that is 9 is decreased to another number that is 4 right so let me just uh, explain you the first test case that is d is only given what are the bunch of numbers which will follow this order? I can go from 2 to 1 or you can, I can from 3 to 1. I can say from 4 to 1. Anything I can write. I can write 9 to 4. That is 94 and 53, 52, 51. There are n number of possibilities, right? But you need to find the minimum one. So numbers that you have to use is you can start from 1. So definitely single digit answer would not be the case. Because there is only one so you have to specify there is a pattern decreasing so one ke baad, which number you want to place so that you get the minimum number I could have placed 0 and I can say 10 would be my answer but you can see in the constraint that the digits allow, allowed are only from 1 to 9 so definitely this cannot be my answer so I am forced to select the minimum number as 2 as, this, as my starting number now what is the minimum number after 2 I can select so that the decreasing order can be maintained definitely 1 and this would be that is 21 would be your minimum number the least number which will be following this decreasing order right so that is why 21 is your answer similar is the case for the larger cases as well so double i and triple d so you can see it is increasing so 1 2 and then 3 times decreasing so 6 to 5 then 5 to 4 and then 4 to 3 right okay so observations pattern what we have observed a very naive observation i can say is uh, or a very quick observation uh, which I can say is that if there are n if there are n characters then definitely in answer it would be n plus 1 right since this was the first character only one character so the answer length was 2 21 similarly in the case for second case there was 2 i and 3 d's but the answer have 6 characters in it right second observation what what I can see is what I can see is uh, if you see if you see you need to find the minimum number guys you need to find the minimum number so let's say you have the possibility the test case has double I and triple D I need to arrange the minimum number in six places I need to arrange the number in six places which I have to assure it as the minimum one right so what can I say what can I say six places so would it be Mm, comfortable to say that I choose the number from 1 to 6 because if I choose a number greater than 6 right places we have 6 places and if I choose a number greater than the number 6 then definitely 7 answer mil jayega. but kya hume is 7 ko is possible answer ka part ka hai? Does, is it required I will say it is not required since we we need the minimum number right so what I will do is that whatever be the number of places that is for n equals to 5 my answer will have 6 characters I will ensure that my all characters would be in the range of 1 to 6 so my second observation is that your answer would be in range or let's say the characters your characters ch in answer would include the number from 1 to n plus 1 right now can you devise an algorithm now can you devise an algorithm so while i was i was solving this question i thought of one approach that let us maintain two variables let us maintain two variables right so let me change the color uh one as the max and one as the min right so i am just explaining you from the scratch here i think you think in this way and then we can finally reduce the solution so what I was thinking is that I know that if I have 5 characters, that is triple I, 
and uh, double i and triple d and i know my, that my answer would be in the range of 1 to 6 and i have six places to fill right so i was pointing my max as 6 that is nothing but n plus 1 and i was pointing my min as 1 right and now i was just starting my while loop or uh, my for loop that is iterating for each and every characters and if i see if it's an increasing right then i was placing the minimum value here and i was incrementing it so one becomes two again again if the character is i what i will do i will again just place my minimum character that is two right now my character is d so i will now leave my minimum character and go to my max and i will explain this as six then again again and i will decrease it to five because six has already been used now again there is a d so i will again use the max character that is five i will decrease it by one more and again i have a d so i will say so I, so I have the answer as 1, 2, 6, 5, 4. Yep, 1, 2, 6, 5, 4. And clearly you can see there is one last character remaining. So I will, I will just see uh, at the end that among max and minimum, which is the smaller one or the larger one. Correct? Correct. So un dono mein se jo chota hoga, hum use kar lenge. Like... Uh, we have placed this too, so definitely this was also incremented 3, right? So both the both the characters are pointing 3, So, but uh, my question was, uh, my preference was that in which we will use because we need to find the minimum number, but since both are the same, let us use any of them. So can you see this is your answer? This could be one approach you must uh, may have thought while understanding this question. Right, so can we dry run for some more cases? So let's say you have D here. I know there are two places to fill, and my max would be pointing to, and my max would be pointing to two, and my min would be pointing to one. So since this is D, I will place two here, right? And again, as the last character, it would be decreased to one. Now, what is the minimum among max and min? I will just place it because all the characters have been iterated. So two one, two one is your answer. Now please pause this video here and try to think: Will this approach work? Will this approach work for all the cases? So I'm saying it will not work. So please pause this video here. Now try to think why it will not work. If you are not able to think, will it work or not, right? Okay, yaar. So, we a test case. We have a test case here. Triple I. And then you have triple D. And then you have a I. So according to our logic, we max max. How many characters are here? 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So our max would be nothing but 8. And my min would be nothing but again 1. So I have a 1. I so I will just place one and I will increase my character two. I, I will again increase my character three, and then again I got a eight. I got a D right. So I will, I will shift to my max. I will shift to my max eight. I will in, decrease my character again. There is a D. I will place my max character that is seven. I will again decrease. I will place the max character six. I will again decrease, right? And we have a I. We have an I here. So I will again to my min character and I will place four here, and I will decrease it, right? And for the last character, I will just I will see what is the minimum between man and mix, uh, uh, max and min. I will place it. So will that work? No, that would that would not work, right? Uh, max or min is chota kya three, but if you clearly, clearly see three is repeated. But let's say we have somehow we, had, we did something, and and we were able to rectify that the character present ho chuka hai pehle, unko na choose karke choose the character which is not present, right? So let us see, let us assume that we have handled that test case. But but is it is this the right answer for this test case? Is this the right answer for this test case? Let us verify from the com custom input. So I will write here as triple I D D T I. Let us see what is the right answer and then we can again start uh, finalizing our pattern so you can see my output is one two three seven six five four eight okay okay so uh, that's the solution written so what is the expected output we need to say one two three seven six five four and eight so we have one two three seven six five four and then eight correct Correct. Okay. So can we devise some pattern? Some pattern? Or let us see some more test cases. So let's say we have four times i and then we have three times d and then again i. Then what is the answer? Then what is the answer? 
we can okay so four times i three times d and one times i the expected output is one two three four eight seven six five nine right so it is one two three four eight seven six five and nine right so can we see some pattern here kya hame kuch pattern yaha dikh raha so if you see if you see that if you have a series of i then we don't have any problem we'll just start from the uh, number starting the minimum value 1 2 3 and 4 right but as soon as we have a i on the other side and some d's are between it then my answer was something like this that i started my d with 8 correct like uh, if i do a previous iteration on this particular test case triple i uh, four times d and i so it would be 1 2 3 4 and my max was pointing to so this was eight characters right so max would according to our previous logic max would be 9 and i will start from 9 8 7 and then what would be the minimum value among max and min it would be updated 9 it's 7 and then again it's an i so we'll have we will continue this series 1 2 3 4 5 And then the remaining number six. This would be our answer, according to our previous logic. But this logic, we can clearly see that here, for nine, it is better. Okay, that we have eight written. Then so our minimum answer will be found. Okay, so I think we have done a lot of operations in the question. We have done a lot of operations in the question. We have done a lot of operations in the question. We have done a lot of operations in the question. We have done a lot of operations in the question. We have done a lot of operations in the question. We have done a lot of operations in the question. We have four i. There is no problem. We just start from one, two, three, and four. And where where is your another continuation of four is present? The another continuation of four is present at the next i, right? So that means that for each and every i you encounter, right? You need to iterate back for your previous i, and you have to see that what was the number here. I will just update the number here, right? And then I will I have a decreasing order for rest of the d's, right? So that means for each and every i, we have to go back to search the previous i, get that continuation, and then write the number here. And what about the d? We can do so. It is one, two, three, and four. The uh, so I have printed all the answer for the i. D के लिए हम क्या करेंगे? D के लिए हम सीधे से iterate कर जाएंगे. Then we have another i, so I will just say five, right? And whatever d we have in between, I will keep on continuing my series using this five. Using this five. After five, we have six. We have seven. We have eight. And then the last number would be nine. Correct? Can we do some more writings to understand this logic even further? So let's say we have double i, double d, and then double i again, right? So what we need to do is that we need to do one here, right? And then there is one i. So iterate back again. Iterate back again, right? And you will check. That it was one. तो जब तक हमारे पास i है यार हम सीरीज को अपनी कंटिन्यू करेंगे वन टू अगेन डी डी आ गया तो हम छोड़ देंगे सो वी हैव अथ आई हेयर सो आई विल से थ्री एंड आई विल फिल द रिमेनिंग डीज इन बिटवीन सो आई विल कंटिन्यू द सीरीज हेयर थ्री फोर एंड फाइव दैन अगेन आई विल बी बैक एंड माई नेक्स्ट एक्शन आई एंड आई विल जस्ट प्लेस एट सिक्स एंड द नेक्स्ट नंबर इज सेवन एंड दैट इज योर आंसर दिस वुड बी योर मिनिमम पॉसिबल आंसर राइट सो लेट इज Discuss the case where we have no i's in it. That is d and d, right? So for d we are doing nothing. So we'll just proceed ahead. The, uh, the answer will be empty again. D will do nothing. Proceed ahead. So they they have an another d, right? So you have reached the end of your string, right? So that means you are iterating back. You are iterating back thing with that which we are doing. This will happen for two of the cases that you have reached the end of your uh, string. Or your s dot caret i is equals equals to i, so you need to iterate back for this thing, right? Okay, so again, uh, the string ended here, right? And I will iterate back. So my I I started I start my series with one, so I will place here one, and I'll move back to two and three, and this is your answer. Three three goes to two, decreasing order maintained. Two goes to one, decreasing order maintained. This would be your minimum answer. Right, great, yar. So how the pseudo code would be done? How the pseudo code would be done? Hmm. So this is the first thing that we observe. Second thing that 
when you move back when you move back from a particular pointer as soon as you get one another eye you need to break it you need to break from there what we did here हमने दो आई था तो वन एंड टू वी डिड हमने लिख दिया आगे डी डी तो हमने छोड़ दिया था एंड देन वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम यर थ्री फोर एंड फाइव एंड देन वी वाइल इट रेटिंग बैक आई फाउंड अनदर आई एंड आई ब्रेक इट फ्रॉम आई ब्रेक आई ब्रेक फ्रॉम हेयर ठीक है यार तो कोशिश करो अब कुछ और टेस्ट केसेस का ड्राइव इन करो ट्राई टू कोट दिस अप्रोच बाई योर सेल्फ एंड देन यू कैन रिज्यूम हेड विद दिस सोल्यूशन अगेन आई एम सेंग फ्रस्ट्रेट मट होना अगर ये क्वेश्चन खुद से नहीं हुआ तो राइट right? ये एक एक्चुअली में डी एस क्वेश्चन आप इसको नहीं कह सकते हो ये एक एक सीपी जैसा क्वेश्चन है पैटर्न ऑब्जर्विंग का ठीक है ठीक है वीडियो को पॉज करते हैं कोड करने की कोशिश करें देन वी कैन रिज्यूम हेड ओके सो दैट्स द कोड हियर रिटर्न इन जावा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आर ऑब्जर्वेशन कि हमारे पास जो आंसर है वो एन प्लस वन का होगा वी ऑब्जर्व दैट वाई वी हैव डिस्कस दैट एज वेल तो हमने एक आंसर एरे बना लिया एंड देन वी आर रिटरेटिंग फॉर ईच एंड एवरी वेरेबल वी हैव इन दी स्ट्रिंग नाउ वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस दैट टिल एट विच केसेज वी नीड टू इटरेट बैक एंड सी एंड सर्च फॉर एन अदर आई तो ये एक आई इक्वल्स टू एन वाला केस होगा राइट सो दिस इज हैंडलिंग एक्चुअली टू केसेज इट इज हैंडलिंग वे द टेस्ट केसेज आर ऑल डीज आर ऑल डीज इन नो आईज इज प्रेजेंट एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो हैंडलिंग वन मोर केस वेर यू नीड टू एड वेर यू नीड टू एड द लास्ट कैरेक्टर द लास्ट कैरेक्टर दैर इज दिस सेवन दैर इज दिस सेवन राइट लाइक इफ यू हैव सिक्स कैरेक्टर्स दैन योर आंसर would have seven characters right so the last character is also being handled by this i equals equals to one let us see again okay so as soon as we get an i we iterate back right for j equals to i minus 1 j greater than equals to 1 and j minus minus right and we are updating the values so let me give you a very quick dry run regarding this code okay let us do a very quick dry run so for i equals to 0 what will happen you will have your since it is equals to i so you will have your pointer j Equals to j minus one, i minus one. That is, you will start from iterating from j equals to minus one till j greater than equals to minus one. So you will iterate for just one. You will iterate just once, right? And what are what are we what are we doing here? That we are iter we are actually updating your answer of j plus one. That is the variable itself, the index itself, right? So, हम यहाँ पे क्या करेंगे? J plus one is nothing but the answer of zero. and up, and updating with the count and count is first starting with 1 to hum isko 1 update kar denge we have 1 here now for i equals to uh or else for i equals to 1 again there is a i here again there is a i so j would be starting to j would be starting from i minus 1 that is j equals to 0 it will go from j greater than equals to minus 1 so you'll have two iterations here right but we have decided as well ki whenever we get a i we have to break when we iterate back and we get i we have to break from there right okay so what will happen that answer of 1 would be updated with the count and count was nothing but one what update one was updated so we have incremented it here count plus plus and count was nothing but two so we would be now updating it with two now how to how to ensure that when we iterate back we found i we have to break so this is the condition it is handling right if s dot caret j We iterated back with j pointer. If it is again equals to y, you have to break from there. Just j greater than equals zero, it is ensuring that you do not hit the minus one condition, like for the first i equals to zero, where j was pointing to minus one, right? Again, so i equals to two, what will happen? It is d, so it will the iteration would be skipped. For i equals to three, again it is d, it would be skipped. For i equals to four, what will happen? You have a i, right? And your count is pointing to your count count is pointing to three, so j would start from Three till j greater than equals to minus one, right? So for j equals to three, array of, or let's say answer of four would be updated. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Answer of four would be updated with the current count. Count is nothing but four, so it would it would be updated with. Or count is nothing but three, so it would be updated with three. And now your count has been increased to four. Now again you move back. So for j equals to two. What will happen? You will update answer of three equals to count. So count is again four. So I'll update with four. And similarly, you will you will go. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, you will go. Ah, 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 you will go. The, your last iteration will happen. Your last iteration will happen for j equals to zero, right? 
for j equals to 0 it will happen and you can clearly see that your answer of your answer of 1 right your answer of 1 is what is it equals to i so kya ye iteration hoga yaar j equals to 0 tak hamari iteration jayegi nahi jayegi right yahan pe kya hai j ki value j plus 1 ki value yahan pe kya hai 2 correct तो j plus value j plus one की value two है तो j की value यहाँ पे क्या थी one and str of the string of one is actually pointing to i and it is greater than equal to zero as well right so that means when we started at this point and we iterated back we found a new we found a previous i that is at the index one and we already know कि हम जब भी i आ रहा था left to right हम उसे handle करते जा रहे थे so we will break from here so we will break from here so one last iteration is ha will happen for i equals to five it will happen right and j would be pointing from j equals to 4 till j greater than equals to minus 1 okay so for j equals to 4 what would be updated your answer of 5 would be updated as your current count so the count 5 was there so it would be updated to 6 so now you have your 6 here right and j j equals to 4 again you can see for the index 4 you have a previous i there so again you will have a break condition then the last iteration would be for i equals to 6 and here is i is actually pointing to equals to n and that is what i was saying that i equals to n is handling two cases that is all d in a string or adding the last character in all the cases so again for i equals equals to n you have to again uh, start your iteration from j equals to uh, what uh, j equals to 7 right till j uh, j equals to 5 till j less than equals to minus 1 right so j equals to 5 what you need to update you need to update your answer of 6 with your current count and count is nothing but it previously it was 6 now it would be 7 so here a 7 would be added and finally you will be returning this value right and this is your answer for this case i hope you got the intuition behind it i have started from the very uh, zero or the scratch you can say कि जब हम क्वेश्चन पढ़ें तो पढ़ने के बाद क्या लगा कि हाँ ऐसा कर सकते हैं तो for the first approach using two variables फिर हमने देखा कि नहीं ये possible नहीं है फिर हमने बहुत सारे test custom input से cases निकाले हमने देखा कि what is the pattern among them once we have found the pattern then we try to pseudo code it and then we again did a dry run on the final code and we have understood each and everything great let us hit the sign button so what is the time and space complexity o of n would be your time and o of 1 would be your o of n would be your space as well because we are using a array of n plus 1 great okay so let, let us switch back to the c plus code again it is the same that we are discussing java and dry run so let's just hit the sign button for this code as well and we can end this video here great here okay so let us meet again in the tomorrow's gfg pure streak till then keep learning keep going bye bye and take care